There was an agreement by Earth to have Roman energy here, but it has reached the end of its cycle and is in decline. Roman energy might be described as the harshest aspect of the masculine, harsh to the point where it has led to it becoming the archetype of abuse of the feminine. We are at a time in our planetary history where the two primal energies of yin and yang are shifting in their relationship. Like two arches intersecting, the arch of the yang journey has reached its crest and is now on the descent. The arc of the yin energy is still ascending. They are at a crossing point where they have reached a place of equality. In fact, the energies of the divine feminine, the yin, are now and still building on the planet, while the energies of the yang are loosening their grip. When women understand this, they can transform the anger and fear from past abusive treatment into compassion. Male and female energies must now intersect together, each in their own dimension, each with autonomy, yet together in balance. For over 2,000 years, the balance between the masculine and the feminine has been in favour of the former, the masculine, the yang energy. And it has been something that we have experienced as part of our human evolution. Indeed, it is the oscillation between the two energies that enables humanity to move along its path. In times of great change, it is feminine energy that comes to the fore and it enables us to take a quantum leap forward. It is especially important that those who have had the experience of abusive relationships with regards to the dis disrespect of the feminine principle use their experiences to heal, to stand in their power, using themselves as a proxy in the process of redeeming the matter of the planet that holds these old imprints of abuse and disrespect of the sacred principles. So all men and women who experience abusive relationships must transform these energy dynamics within themselves and enable similar energies to be transformed where they are held within the planetary structure. The ancient wisdom of the feminine, that of being in harmony with nature, of understanding natural ways of healing, of intuitive knowing, has been repressed and long forgotten as the feminine principle went into hiding and was depressed. However, there have always been those on the planet who have held that wisdom within their cellular memory to keep that flame alive. They are the temple keepers, the priestesses of old, who have maintained an unbroken vibration with the ancient wisdom. These temple keepers are now being guided to attend their stations at this time as the feminine temples of the earth re-emerge. It is time to awaken to the awareness of who you really are and the role you have to play in this planetary transition. You will find there are things that you remember encoded into your body as wisdom not from books or learned knowledge. In times past, the archives of ancient teachings were held within certain rocks that acted as record keepers. There are many now who are accessing these records, and more will come as the feminine energies become more and more fully available on the planet. Allow yourself to trust your guidance and knowledge at this time. The new teachings for the planet will be awakened through this type of feminine knowledge, as living libraries as the ancient Lemurian temples begin to arise again. Temple keepers will be able to be perceived by more people as their own inner wisdom is revealed to them. Their role will be of great service in these times ahead. In times ahead, the standard operating procedure, the way things have been done in the past, won't be effective anymore. This will mean that humanity will develop new ways of adapting. 
the grids which are emerging hold the new template and those of you in this work are helping to hold the energy for this transition to happen. This is an important time for those of you who are performing this role. The key task now is to live the truth of who you really are. This is your time. Now is your time. Assume the mantle you have been given. The conditioning of the world has caused you to determine your value according to what you do. And this can be confusing as it is not a true reflection of your true worth. Hold on to the idea of who you really are. Your being touches people and ripples out to affect others in ways you are unaware. Who you are and the awareness you hold exists on other dimensions, as there are whole civilizations on other levels that live in harmony and according to the principles of love. You hold this truth in your very being, remembering this way of being by living the truth of who you are. You act as a beacon, guiding people to the place, awareness of this and other way of living and being. We must all, men and women, raise our vibration and catapult humanity to a higher way of being, ultimately bringing everything into balance. There is much to do. There is much healing to be done. But together we can heal and we can create and manifest a new and wonderful way forward 